Remember who you were. Take the mirror of the Word of God and examine who you were. While at the same time understanding that the sufficiency of the Word of God allows you to look through the window and examine culture for all that it is. Romans 1 where God turned them over to a depraved mind. He didn't just turn them over to a depraved mind. It says that he turned them over to a depraved mind to do the desires that they want to do. We're seeing more and more every day the reality of Jeremiah 17, 9, that the heart is desperately sick and wicked. And there is no depth to which the sinful, unregenerate heart will go. Christ didn't come to save society. He came to save sinners. Now that does not mean that society won't be impacted by saved sinners. It should be. It should be. But the primary goal was not, let's fix social culture society. Daryl talked about it in, in our, in, during our Q&A. That's the idea of, of saving all that's out here in the hope that what's in here gets transformed. Well, Christianity doesn't work that way. Christianity doesn't work from the outside in. Christianity works from the inside out. The Apostle Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 14 through 16, For the love of Christ controls us, having concluded this, that one died for all, therefore all died. And he died for all, so that they who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who died and rose again on their behalf. Therefore now, here's the money verse, verse 16 of 2 Corinthians 5, Therefore now we recognize no one according to the flesh. Keep your feet firmly planted in the sufficient Word of God. Be an evangelist. You have a great commission that we're going to all the world, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey the commandments with the promise that Christ will be with us even to the end of the age. For us as believers, we should, we should find great encouragement in this, the days we're in are growing ever more dark. But in the, in the darkest of days, the smallest of light is more brightly able to be seen. And you are that light. You carry the Word of God with you. And share it everywhere you go. That your resolve, that come what may, the storms that come, you're not moving. You will not be moved from the Word of God.